What's up guys, Apathy back with another video and today I'm very excited to be doing Black Ops 3 SD tip tricks and spots and I'm starting off the map Redwood. A lot of you guys know that I play wagers all day, I'm very talented at SD, I'm I know so much about SD, I'm very informed, well knowledge. So I wanted to share that knowledge with you guys. Do you know I did promise you guys I was gonna start doing more tip videos? Well here I am doing some more. I did this back in Ghosts and Events Warfare, so I'm bringing it back baby so first off I'm gonna start off with like some sniper spots and spots where you can cut the map in half get information spots that a lot of people probably don't know or use so right here I'm gonna be showing you guys a spot where you can see the bridge cross so you guys know that is the start of the bridge you can easily watch the bridge cross here now it's, it's gonna be a lot harder with an AR but obviously you can still see it I really recommend if you want to do this make sure you have a thermal a a thermal sniper maybe even a thermal AR but it's really good when, let's say you're going A, your teammate does not have bridge, they're all probably pushing or something. They're like, oh, somebody called my cross, and you're coming A, you're like, oh, you know what, I got you guys. And you just watch it for them. Now, another good spot a lot of people could do, you don't necessarily have a sniper, but it's obviously best when using a sniper, is off the break you wall run this wall. You jump out, you can see the mid-alley rush, and you can see the bunker. So you easily off break, you can tell where they're going, and you maybe even get a first blood. If you immediately don't see anything here, what I like to do right away is I jump up this tree, and I can see the bridge cross from here too so that way i get all three and one it's a very good strat obviously um you know you might not get a kill off the break but you get a lot of information all right guys now one of my personal favorites now i don't really use this often but i think it's pretty damn good to use so you go over here you can boost really high up you can get a kill off the break you don't even need to peek out you do not need to do this you get yourself on the open maybe get yourself killed instead you could do it from the top of the building and you can even get a lucky kill if they're peeking out you can get a first blood or get a huge kill on A, and you get information without them even knowing you're there or even seeing you. Now, obviously, it isn't the craziest spot, but it can definitely help you in certain situations. Now, for this next spot is, I think a lot of people know this, but I feel like a lot of people don't at the same time. I do this all the time going A. What you want to do is wall run really high up in this wall, jump up, and you can see the whole cross to A. Now, I don't, I don't necessarily do this with a sniper. I usually do it with a sub or an AR. Oh, look at you. But what I like to do, you can even do it right here. You can jump up here. And do this and see the cross it's very good because you know they're going a if they're going a you can easily do something like this you drop down get behind them and just pistol them maybe get a kill or two you might die after but you know you did a huge play so what you do again i'm just gonna repeat it one more time you wall run really high up in this wall you boost up and you can see the whole a cross if they're coming a or not now before i talk about retaking bombs and bomb plant areas i'm gonna show you guys a couple more spots so obviously this is a obviously a general spot i wouldn't really recommend going here unless you want to watch only middle and kind of bunker it's not the best spot you can obviously jump up here and maybe get a kid middle alley but what i really recommend is come to this spot why because you get to watch all three middle alley bridge and bunker it's a very effective spot it's it's a little bit risky if you plan to come here i'll definitely run flight jacket or maybe some trophies now this spot right here is high risk high reward i'm pretty sure a lot of you don't know about this and i really would recommend you practicing but you can actually kill the guy off beat bomb from here now how you may ask i'm gonna do right now what you want to do is you know want to get on this rail so you're already up here you're gonna want to wall run off this wall jump up save at least half your boost Snipe them real quick and then come back. Now, it obviously works with thermal the most just because. Oh, uh, 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 I wall run back perfectly. What you want to do, like I said, is attach yourself back on this wall. If you do not do that, there's a high chance you're going to die. So you're going to do this. Boom, snipe, get back on the wall. It's hard. Like the first time I did it, you know, I fell off the map like 10 times in a row. It requires some practice. You guys see, I could do it pretty well, but it could be so effective and so crazy helpful, like in a 3v4, something like that. Like I said, it's high risk, high reward. Now, this next spot I'm going to show you is a crazy ass spot. So, what a lot of people do is usually in bunker, they sit in this headless right here, right? It's hard to take them off. When you're out here in the open, you know, you're, you pretty much get picked pretty easy. So a lot of people are doing lately is you can actually see the head glitch from this crack right here. So you can see them. And it's so hard for them to kill you because you're already preaming this. For a dumb, they have to snap on this little ass crack. Not the butt crack. And then you just, boom, headshot. Now I'm going to show you guys one final spot before we get into the bomb plants and to how to retake bombs, best way to retake bombs. So one last spot is people like to do is sit right here. This spot is really effective, especially if you lay down. People like to want, run right past you. You know, you can get a kill or two, a huge kill, two kills on B without them even knowing. It could be very effective. This is a high risk, high reward spot as well. You know, a lot of, usually now more people are checking it. 
But, you know, if it can catch them off guard here and there, they're not always going to check it every single time. And even you can sit down below the stairs is also a really good spot as well. It's up to you guys, but I think, you know, these two spots are very helpful. So now we're going to talk about how to retake B-Bomb. Now, B-Bomb obviously is one of the hardest bombs to take retake just because one guy can easily cut off this whole building. Watch one lane. It's very simple. Usually you're going to have a guy here, a guy here, a guy here. So usually you never really want to go down here. Now, if you have an AR or a sniper, you, what you can do is make sure there's no one on this head glitch first of all no one okay you jump sideways you get on this then you peek on the bob and try to pick him off or ar him especially if he has a sub it's not that hard but you know you just got to make sure you have a good shot if that does not work what i like to do what a lot of teams do is you want to peek middle nothing bunker nothing mid alley nothing bridge okay perfect you talk with your team it might be a 3v4 but you talk to your team you're like all right let's go now so what you do is you jump out this window you wall run on this wall, you're behind the bomb guy already, and you kill him. You have bomb control. Now, obviously, it isn't over yet. It's a 3v3 now. They're all around you, but then you work off that. Now, usually what a, a guy might do is sit here. He's not always going to be watching this. There's a, there's a chance you might get a quick opening where he's, he's speaking flank real quick, or he decides to come bridge, and you cross already, and you got, you got behind him. So, I mean, in the end of the day, that's the higher chance. That makes it like a 50-50 going through the window. Going down here is like a 2080. Like it's it's not gonna work most of the time. So I really recommend you just pushing out through that window and then retaking with teammates. Communicate. Make sure you communicate. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna show you in a bomb now is how to retake a bomb. Now, obviously, you know this bomb's a little bit harder to retake as well, just because there's a guy here, there's a guy here. They're all watching this area right here, so it's pretty hard. But it makes it a little bit easier than B just because there's a flank as well and there's a wall run. So what I'm going to show you guys is, first of all, you want to have one or two teammates peeking out here, distracting, putting shots, you know, making some noise. Something like this. Try not to do this and be like, oh, let me challenge this guy on bomb. If he's had glitch and bomb, unless you have an AR, oh, and unless you have a god shot, then it's obviously going to be really hard. He's probably going to kill you and you're on the open. You might get shot from here. You might get shot from here. So it's really risky. The best thing you can do here is just peek. But what you really want to do is I'm going to show you two go you guys two godly wall runs that you can get behind them. And it's better than usual. But it does require practice. So what we're going to do first, we're going to do the lower tree wall run. So what a lot of people have been doing recently is this wall run right here. Now the reason this is so good is because I do not need to go on the wall. And I could do something like this. Or I could have just, I could have just jumped up here or wall run to here. Whatever the case is. But the reason it's so good is because I don't appear on the wall. I don't appear on it. This is some good strats I'm giving you guys. I'm literally wall running behind under it and then under here and then flanking them. So someone's here watching a wall run or he's like right here watching a wall run. You know, there's a chance, a 90% chance I will sneak behind them. And I'll make them look dumb. I'll get the kill. My teammates just, uh, just advance and we work together. So that's a good wall run. Now the second wall run I'm going to show you, it takes a little bit more practice than that one. But it's, it's very helpful as well because I'm going behind the motherfucking wall. So right here we're going to do this, do this. And boom, I'm here. They wouldn't even know it's coming. I'll hit him with a one, two. Look at my shoes. It's really good, guys. I mean, this one requires a little bit more practice. What you want to do is you're going to wall run behind the tree. So it, you got to make sure you attach yourself. It takes a little bit of time. Trust me, it's not that easy. But it's very helpful. I come out of nowhere, guns blazing. It's like, what? I didn't even see him wall run. Because I'm going to be behind this fucking wall. Oh. All right, guys. Before I get to the bomb plant areas, I want to show you some spots on the map. Spots that I feel like a lot of people don't know, and it's pretty funny, but it's very helpful. So this is probably one of the best spots when it comes to mid-map. Three reasons. You can see the guy coming at B, or if he goes B, if he pushes out B, you can see the whole cross from there. You can watch the second story, and, you know, you're pretty up here, so it's not like they're going to snap on you right away. You can back down pretty quickly or even get a kill. You can jump and see the whole middle, especially their tree side. So my god, this is a very good spot. It even It's helpful when getting a side middle. You know, a lot of people like to do this. This is exactly what I do when I try to get a first blood middle. I come on this wall, jump up, see anybody, boom, get a first blood. Now let's go to the bunker. This is a spot like I've been explaining to you guys earlier. You can head glitch this, see the second story, and see middle map. It's a very good spot, a very good power position when it comes to watching middle. But you guys see this? You can see the crack. And this is the crack I was talking about where you can get sniped from or even get shot from. Now, the, harder, the hard thing about this, if you come here, if someone's pre this already, you can't just like, oh, like snap right on the crack. Like, it's going to take you a second or two, because unless you get lucky, you just randomly, oh, right there, boom. But it's going to be very difficult, but this is a good spot as well. Now, I'll be showing you guys another good spot that a lot of people don't use or don't know about. Hey, you just you just finished sniping the sniping middle. You want to check flank real quick. Doing this could be very risky at times, especially if they're already rushing you. Uh, it's very risky. You might end up dying. What I like to do is, hey, let me back up here. Jump up. Holy shit. I can see the whole flank. 
My God, apathy! Why didn't you show me this earlier? Well, I'm showing it to you now. You know, I'm I'm, I'm spreading love to the competition. A good way to watch full flank, and a lot of players use, which I check a lot because I know players use this, but a lot of people don't. Is what you do is you sit right here. You can watch full flank. You can see someone comes to the water. You can see some guys comes here, or someone jumps off the bridge. It's the best way to watch full flank. Now, if you have a teammate on the bridge, head glitching right here, watching middle, it can be a little tricky because that guy might die, but it's the best, safest way. The only way you die if a guy literally, if a guy's coming through here, he can't see you. He he won't see you. The only way you die if a guy literally checks this corner like this. If but usually people don't do that. It's a really it's a really like crazy corner. People don't check that. Now I talked about this next strat in my Black Ops Street movement video, but since I am playing Redwood, I'm gonna be showing you guys a pretty cool tip that you guys should know. So let's say you want to retake B bomb, or there's a guy bridge, or you got to rush bomb, whatever the case is, and you don't want to get caught off guard. A guy a guy randomly coming up on the bridge like that and challenging you. So what you do is you want to, this tree right here is your best friend. What you want to do is you want to boost your tree, Warren. As soon as you get to a ledge, you want to boost out like this. And not only will you catch him off surprise because you're five mid air like a maniac, but you get there pretty fast and you have higher ground. So therefore, you are more than likely gonna win the gunfight. This is also another good spot, the bridge, because you can watch so many things. The only problem is you're kind of out in the open, so you got to really be careful while using this spot. Now, really quick, I'm going to talk about bomb plant spots. Now, these are spots where you plant the bomb, you get away, and you can see it from a good position. So, what people like to do is plant it right here, you know, plant it behind. Now, this spot is so good for two reasons. Not only is it out in the open, and you can check it almost from anywhere, you can do this. You can, you can, you know, you, you, you can see it from a lot of places, but there's, these are two good spots I'm going to show you guys. Now, if you want to be a sneaky shark, you literally could do this. You can, you can come up to the bomb, nothing. Okay, back up. Now, the only problem is the guy is here. You know, he might see you, but this spot is so good because you can literally check from the water. What? You can check from the water. Yes, you can. It's crazy, right? Another cool spot and crazy is you can check the bomb from right here. It's, it's, it's crazy and a little risky because if you miss your shot, it can, it can, in your ass but look at this you can if you plan in the back right here you can easily snipe the guy off bomb i know now for a bomb there's two ways you can plant the bomb obviously now you can i would never recommend you planting it like this that's dumb this is dumb you want to plant the front or back now the reason planting it right here or just in the front in general is good is because if you lose control of your spawn you can obviously back up to their spawn like this and you can see the bomb from right here the bomb will be right there you can see the bomb from right here you see the bomb right here if you need to pick him up pick him off real quick and you can even do this a little funny thing i like to call jumping off the wall run you can do this oh he's on bomb oh you're dead let me go back on the wall run and this is obviously more of a clutch spot you don't want to do that for no reason it'd be pretty funny to watch and then for the other side it's obvious things you know you want to plant it here and then you can back up to your spawn and this way you literally all you have to do is control your spawn and control the bomb you don't have to push up you know, you can watch from right here or from almost anywhere outside of here. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first Black Ops 3 SD tip, tricks, and spots. It's my first one ever on Black Ops 3. If you really want me to keep doing this, make sure to leave a like in the comments below as well. Tell me you want me to keep doing this, that you enjoyed it, or whatever the case is. Uh, you know, I love helping you guys. Like I said, I love doing tip videos for you guys. So I wouldn't mind doing more of these. I know it took a little bit long to get everything, but I wanted to cover as much as possible to elevate your game and obviously help you guys out because, you know, the more knowledge I have, the more I want to share with you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy. And let's reach maybe um 1 million likes. And I'm out. Have a good day, guys.